the whoop thing? Yeah, I see. Oh, God. You heard that shit in Spanish? No, I can't. always right because Charlie was on paper. It was Charlie because that one time that we almost got arrested. You know, with the fucking LML and they fought. And the cops had me. Once Rick was on, they were like, hey, do this, do that. Like, you know what I mean? It was all cool, you know? But we, that's how it started because Charlie was on paper first. Because of that one time. And then he ended up. I was the oldest, so I got the first to get it. And then the second time was when they went to fucking eat the West Side and they got into some shit and him and Vivian got locked up. But that's what, like, kind of eased my mind a little bit. Like, well, there's some firefighters in here with their children. It's like, it's me, but I'm not the only one struggling with my kids, you know? Yeah. Sixth Street, over there in Segundo Barrio. Most gangs out here, they, they're noticed by a color. They know us by a number. I got three homeboys out of day right now. And they probably would have been older than 25. If I could trade some of the motherfuckers that are out here in the streets right now for them three, I'd do that shit in a heartbeat. It was an older one. He took some charges from me when I was younger. I had four aggravated assaults with the deadly weapon. And he went and took the rap from me. So they ended up letting me out of jail. After I did that whole year, after when I got stabbed, they let me out of jail because he took the rap. He took a two-piece. Got out, we kicked it for a while, he ended up dying. They busted his head open with the water meter and they fractured his skull. He had a big old hole in his head. Got stabbed 11 times. Throwing down with somebody over some money issues. I've always been about my dollar. I had to support kids at a young age, so that was the only way I was getting it. And I wasn't gonna let nobody take it from me either, so I ended up throwing down with the dude and dude ended up stabbing me 11 times. People get shot, people get stabbed. It being myself getting shot, getting stabbed. Homeboy getting shot, stabbed. Getting calls that somebody got shot, stabbed. It's like a never ending story. I ended up coming back, being good, but everything fucking switched and turned out on me. I ended up getting locked up for this shit, doing the whole year while I should have been in high school. Becoming an adult in a fucking jailhouse facility is a fucked up way somebody can become an adult. This lifestyle don't got nothing in it for you. To be honest, it don't, you know what I mean? To me, it's more like a chapter in my life. My dad was facing life sentence. We call it beating the case, but he got 10 years instead of a life. He did his 10, now he's out. Did three of parole, just finished this year too, as a matter of fact. He didn't snitch on nobody. That shit hit the fan. They told him he was facing a life. Kept it solid. My dad used to take care of that homeboy that passed away. When they were out in the street. We got mad love for motherfuckers. That's how we do it. I guess he just had it in him to take care of me and shit right for me. We were out that night. We got into some shit and he did that. He asked my mom if, he, if I could ride and she was like, nah, she didn't want to. But she was like, all right, take care of him. He said he'll take care of me, he did.
I sat next to black dudes, I sat next to white dudes in school. El Paso, the chances of motherfuckers from the hood having racial issues and shit like that, it ain't gonna happen. My brother used to bang crib. They're black themselves, you know what I mean? We used to live in the amber woods and shit. That motherfucker was mixed to, from the top to the bottom. Over here, if it's that, it has to be put into somebody's head. They do their thing, we do ours. We didn't have to be put where we were at. Everybody got love for everybody and that's it.